Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, what we're gonna be doing now is taking a look at another UE5 kind of Arcvis kind of setup here. Now, originally, I did have a meta human in here from my previous tutorial, but it was crashing quite a bit, so I had to start fresh. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started and turn this scene into Lumen. And then I'm gonna grab my Vive Pro camera and walk around in here using my shoulder rig. So, Let's get started and we're gonna go to edit project settings and I'm going to show you kind of like how do I do this. I'm gonna go to static right here and we're gonna turn off the static lighting. So if I scroll down, you're gonna see that allow static lighting is right here. Go ahead and uncheck that. It's gonna make me restart, but I'm not gonna restart just yet because we do have to turn on a couple of things. We're gonna go back to that project settings and we're gonna type in global illumination because we're actually gonna turn on Lumen, so Lumen right here. Yep, so that's good. And you're gonna see that the lights are gonna turn off. Reflections are good, Lumen, Lumen. And let's turn on the shadow maps, the virtual shadow maps right here. And we're gonna say ray tracing shadows as well. And let's type in fog. And we're gonna do support sky atmosphere. Click that, again, it's gonna make me restart that. Next thing, we're gonna delete all the lights. So go ahead and make this bigger. Delete all the sphere reflection as well for now. And let's turn off the light source. We're just removing everything here. We do not need the light mass importance volume. Delete all the cameras, probably. Yeah, this BP light studio, that's actually outside. So if I delete this, there you go. Now I can't see, so let's go to unlit and go back in that room there. And then delete the process, player start, all the cinema camera, delete these. And then the point light, don't need it. Sequence master, we are pretty much getting rid of all the light here because we're going to start from scratch. Going to unlit again. The only thing that's on is the laptop right here. I'm going to control shift S and I'm going to restart this project and it's going to take a minute. All right, so we're back in the project and we only have one red warning message now is the planar reflection. So there is a planar reflection in the project. So let's go ahead and turn on planar. Click this. Okay, and then I'll restart in a minute because I'm going to go ahead and work in here. Now there is a couple of stuff that we have to delete here. So you can see they do have some fake Kind of like caustics in here. I'll press G. You, you see these right here? I'm going to delete these as well. So I'm going to go delete that, delete that, and delete all this. So now you should only have kind of like pitch black darkness. Aside for that emissive that's kind of coming from that laptop, which is actually pretty cool. And that's already showing you what Lumen is doing. It's actually illuminating everything around it kind of like how it would in real life except in real life we won't get shadows so we do need to light this scene up just a little bit so i will restart now and then we'll come right back okay so we are back in our pitch black scene in unreal engine 5 so let's start creating some lights the first one we're going to create is directional light just like so then i'm going to create a skylight and I'm going to create sky atmosphere and exponential height fog. Now in the exponential height fog, as you can see, it's inside the house, which is not really realistic. So we will go to the start distance and maybe put 2000 in there. So it's all gone. That's what we want. Next up, we're going to go to the directional light and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see this option called atmosphere sunlight perfect and then let me see where this icon is let me just drag it so i can kind of see it and then if i control l now it's going to give me this nice little widget tool and if i hold that control l and just mouse around i can now set up that lighting all right and again, this is the magic of Lumen. Dynamic lighting, so if I move this, shadows we move around. 
Obviously, it looks like garbage right now because we haven't really done much. I'm going to type in sky here. And then let's go to the skylight right here. I'm going to click on real-time capture. So that's good. You can see. And we're going to go back to the directional light. Actually, let me just click on this. And hold control again. So you can see if I kind of time lapse it to a darker area here. You can see that the outside is still bright, which doesn't make sense. And that's because the fog is actually lighting up outside. So to fix that, we have to go back to our fog. And we have to turn this off to black. And we have to turn this off to black. And now, no lights, it's dark. Click on that directional again, control L. And let's bring some sunlight back. And what's cool about Lumen is that while you're moving this around, it's actually changing the color of that light like it does in real life. And it's all real time. And click on that now and so make sure that this is set to movable right here. So that's good. And all of our sky stuff is set to also movable. Okay, so that one's good. Check our exponential. That one's good. Okay, so let's set up the scene. Click on this, play around with it. You can even bind this on like a mouse scroll and you can actually do some cool time lapse. So let me see, I usually like over, kind of like midday look. All right, so I'm gonna move it. No, oh, something like that looks kind of cool to me. The light is just coming through these uh, windows right here. But as you can see, it is really noisy, all right? But don't freak out. Yeah, that bedroom looks really nice too. Don't freak out. We're gonna go ahead and fix that stuff. Now, we're gonna create a post-process volume because we did delete it. So we're gonna go back to visual effects, post-process. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down, or you can just type it if you want. Bound. And we're gonna say infinite unbound. So it's gonna take effect an entire area. And what I would like to do also is go ahead and create a sphere reflection because we did delete one. So I'm gonna visual effects, sphere reflection, and I'm gonna drag it here in the middle of the scene. Go ahead, it's outside. Press G. Okay, I'm gonna close this here. Just gotta make sure that this is actually set to captured scene, which is good. And I'm going to build the reflections. Okay, just like that. All right. And now I will go to the post process that we created and I'm gonna kind of twirl this up. I'm gonna close this, close this, because I want the exposure to manual. And let's look at maybe 12, maybe 13. That looks kind of good. And this is starting to look really nice. Now, we do have a little bit more of a shadow by that crate. So let me move that there so that looks a little bit better. Again, this is fully dynamic. So look at those shadows. They're moving. I don't have to bake any of these light and shadow maps. That is the beauty, again, of Lumen. All right. So under that, I'm going to close this, close this, close this, close all of this. We're just looking for the actual global illumination settings. I'm going to click this, change it to Lumen, and watch what happens here. I'm going to change this to four. And those flickering disappear. Now, as of right now, four is the magic number when it comes to Lumen. I'm going to change it to one. You can see everything is flickering again. Change it to four and that is gone. Control shift S to save this. Just make sure because I've been getting a lot of crashes here lately. And then the reflections, again, the magic number is also four, right? And now our scene is really starting to look nice. All right, now this right here is actually not getting a lot of light. 
because the sun is kind of coming from this direction right here. So what I can do is just lift that shadow up just a little bit so that, you know, we can help it kind of like raising the dynamic range of our camera, if you will. Go right here, film. And we're going to go to toe and I'm going to decrease this number and that's going to lift up the shadows just a little bit. There are multiple ways to do this, but this is the easiest for me and the fastest. Okay. Additionally, we can go to that direction of light and change the source angle to one. And what this is going to do is just technically going to get that shadow just a little bit softer. Right. And it's starting to look really, really nice. You can mess around with the source angle here if you want, as you can see right here. See these lines? They're harder shadows. But as I go up, they get a lot softer, a lot nicer. And I'm gonna let me change this camera down. Okay. It's really freaking sweet. I mean, obviously there's still ups and downs when it comes to Lumen. Um, it is still screen space, but for games, this is going to change gaming forever because you're going to get that dynamic lighting, dynamic shadows. It's pretty darn cool. You move around. Look at that. That is so freaking cool, man. And to think that this is still in beta is really freaking dope because they can still improve on this, obviously. Now you can just finesse this if you want, mess around with it. But I am pretty happy with my result here. So now that I showed you how to turn on Lumen in Unreal Engine 5, let's go ahead and walk around in this scene using my Vive controller right here. Let's do it. So this is a little bit wider kind of POV because the last one was a little bit too tight and let me go ahead and move this mouse so it's out of the way I do have this at 120 uh, screen resolution now and you, re you can really see the screen space there at the bottom but that's okay this is really really early tech it's just beautiful. This lighting is so nice. Looks like they're checking out my YouTube channel too. It's just, that's a plus. And let's go check out this little elephant right here. So let's just kind of sidestep. And the sun is right there. It's beautiful. Now if I turn around right here, you should see a bedroom here. which again, looks really nice, even though it doesn't really have much light in there. And I'll flip it around. You can see that in the corner right there. That's just the screen space. Again, like I said, one of the downsides about Lumen, but that's all right, because when you're playing a game, you really shouldn't see that. You got some books. Check out some books up there. It's pretty nice. Bookshelf. No, I do have the lens at like 12 right now because it is a pretty small space. Freaking cool is this. Let's go check this out right here. Real estate business is going to change. Oh, I'm actually on top of the table. My bad. Got a camera right here. Let's check out. Let's see this camera. This says Conan on it. <laughs> God, look at that shadow. 
All right, so I went ahead and flipped the camera so that we can kind of check out this bedroom. And you can kind of see the lens is distorting here because it is pretty wide angle. Nice shelf. Got some light leaks down there, you see that? Nice shoes. It's a nice scene. And those are actually geometry, not just images. Those are mesh out there, the buildings. And I'm guessing this is where that planar reflection is. Yeah, so that's not working properly there. I think that is that was the planar that has the planar reflections. Okay. This is dope. Man, it's really nice. Wish I could live in a place like this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this map. Now, if you wanna see more of this kind of videos, just let me know in the comments below. I am going to be exploring this a lot more because a lot of people really like this kind of videos um, and it's actually fun to do and it's really easy. So if you all have any questions, let me know and like always, thanks for watching.